we have radioactive uh, fallout from Chernobyl. Uh, you may have heard about it. And uh, so there was cesium plutonium leaked. It's decaying. Uh, the land's not fit for human use, so we want to measure how much longer before you want to buy real estate here and, and move back in. So these cure units here are just units of, of radiation. So going from 10 uh, for plutonium-239 down to 8. Okay, so that's what we're going to calculate, just to get a feel of how long this is taking. Uh, one thing you would need to do uh, for this problem is look up the half-life. So you find this in your book, it was an exam, it'd be given to you, it'd be on the back of the test, some, something like that. And this is 2.4 times 10 to the 4 years. Okay, now we can do the calculation. What's the order of this reaction? It's going to be first order. All these uh, nuclear reactions will be first order. They're going to follow the same formulas. In your new chapter, the current chapter, uh, the formula is this. N over N naught equals E to the minus lambda T. If you prefer your old formula, that's uh, A over A naught e to the minus kt. Whatever, it's the same formula. Here, of course, we're using concentration units from kinetics, but any units will really do. So, in this case, we're going to use the ci unit. We want to solve for time, because we want to calculate the time uh, for the source to decay. So, I'm going to solve for t. I'll just use uh, this set of variables here. Whichever you prefer is totally fine. You'll need to take the natural log of both sides. And then solve for time. So time, I'll just bring time over here, equals minus 1 over lambda, natural log of n over n naught. So let me show you what variables we do have. We do have n. That's at the current time, uh, or at the current uh, amount or concentration uh, from the old chapter, 8. <coughs> the original is 10, but we don't have lambda, so we'll need to find lambda. Since this is first order, uh, lambda is going to be the natural log of 2 over the half-life or half-life is natural log of 2 over the rate constant. So we can use this to find a uh, plug-in for lambda over here. So we're going to have a t equals, I have to reciprocate lambda here, it's uh, minus t one half over natural log 2 times the natural log of n over n naught. Now let's plug in all our variables. t equals uh, the half-life. That's what we looked up earlier. 2.4 <coughs> times 10 to the 4 years over the natural log of 2 times the natural log of 8 over 10. What's going to be my final unit? Oops. My answer will be a white unit. It'll have to be in years, uh, because that's what the half-life is given in, years. Uh, so I get 77.28. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, so there's a negative here, still. Where does that negative sign go when I do all this? Yeah, you better not get a negative year. Whenever you take the natural log or log of a number less than 1, you're going to get a negative number. So you better not get negative time units. So 
uh, radioactive fallout. This is going to take a long, long time. Nobody's going to be moving back there ever. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs>